Hey guys, what's up? It's Chase Jarvis, founder and CEO of Creative Live. You all know that we have more than 2,000 classes and more than 10,000 hours of learning, inspirational, and motivational content on the platform. I'm super excited to announce a new experience on Creative Live. It's called Fast Class. You've told us that you're busy and sometimes it's hard to dive into a full class from start to finish. So essentially we're now giving you a shortened highlight version of our top Creative Live classes. You can always dive into the full class with five, 10 or 15 hours of great content. But now if you're just looking to focus on a few of the highlights or wanna be able to skip quickly to something that really interests you, you can now get a shortened fast class version of that class. We're also thinking this might be able to help you explore a new craft and save time while doing it. This is a great tool to curate your learning experience to help create the life that you seek. So you're probably thinking, great, how do I access this new experience on Creative Live? That's easy. All you have to do is be a subscriber to the Creator Pass and then all this is yours. Hello, my name is Mark. I'm Katie. Yes, and we are with Swing It Seattle. It's fabulous to have you here. We specialize in the original swing dance, Lindy Hop. That dance is born out of the ballrooms of Harlem uh, from the late 1920s, but it has now danced all around the world. Uh, what is the Lindy Hop? What does it look like? Let's take a look at it. is to do a little dancing. I know a lot of us have been enjoying a fine program at home from the comfort of our couch, but it's a perfect time for us to pick up our feet and do a little swing dancing. This is gonna be a 
no experience required kind of lesson. That's how our beginning Lindy Hop class series work at Swing in Seattle. We actually have them going through our live stream ongoing class series at swingitseattle.com. You can check that out. But let's discover some exciting things to do with our feet, shall we? There are two different roles of this dance. You can dance the role of the leader, or you can dance the role of the follower. Both are great. Do whatever you want. But if you would like to lead in our little class today, then you can watch my feet. And if you'd like to follow, go ahead and watch mine. Okay, so let's do this super, oh, there it is. Safety first. Safety first. That's going to be the thing that does it. So let's pick up our feet. Can you go? Step, step, step. Step. Ooh, good. Step. 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 Whoa. Whoa there. It's as if you're stepping on one foot and then onto the other foot. Let's try it again as a team. Can you go? Step. 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 This foot. That foot. This foot. And that foot. Now, something to know about the Lindy Hop is that uh, it was uh, an improvised dance, and it was born out of the the streets of New York. So it is not this kind of dance, it's this kind of dance, which is a nice kind of feeling. It's a little bit less formal than you might think of like traditional ballroom dancing. With that in mind, <gasps> let the legs relax. Okay, you're doing a great job. Here we go. Uh, hey, ho, let's switch feet let's and go. go. Step, step. Oh, good. Step, step. Good. Right. Down from the leg. Step, step, step. step. Step, 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 step. Incredible. Awesome. So now we're going to do that same thing, but instead of stepping one, two, one, two, we're going to step on every beat. What does that sound like? It sounds like this. Hey, ho, and here we go. It's step, 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 step. Oh, good. One, two, one, this is step, interestingly two, a lot like walking. Step, Let's step, do some walking. Go ahead and move around the floor. No need to look down. It's going really well. Nice, nice. That is good walking. There's something to know about Lindy Hop, again, with it being swing dancing, is it is a dance for everyone. So if you can walk, you can swing dance. So let's discover something we can do with our feet that's very, very exciting now. But first, we're going to play a little game. It's a little bit like Simon says, but there are no tricks. We'll do something, and then you at home get to do the same thing in response. So can you go step, step, trip, full step? Can you try saying that? It goes like step, step, trip, full step. One more time. Let's try saying it again. Let's go step, step, trip, full step. Good, good. So here's the thing with Rhythmical dances like the Lindy Hop, uh, these dances, they make a sound. And the most adept part of your body at making sounds is your mouth. You make those sounds every time you speak, which means if you can say the thing you want your feet to do, there's a good chance your feet can start to do it. If you cannot say the thing you want your feet to do, there's a very small chance your feet are going to do it. So with that in mind, let's try saying it again. Let's go. Step, step. Trip, full step. step. Let's say it one more time. Five, six, say it together. Step, step, step trip, full step. step. Which is why it's not the same thing as saying it in your head. You really actually have to say it out loud. Let's say it like this now. Let's add on one more trip, full step. And that's going to go step, step, step trip, full step, step, trip, full step. step. Ooh, that sounds good. Uh, Let's make that sound one more time together as a family. Five, six, and here we go. Step, step, step triple step, step, triple step. step. Glorious. Hold on to that. That's just lovely. So now we're going to give that sound a little shape. So check this out. Leaders, if you start with your left foot. Followers, we're going to start with our right. And it doesn't matter if you have a partner or not. We're just picking up our feet. So we're going to go step. Step. One more time, it's step, step. Once again, it's step, step. One more time, it's step, step. Bonus last time. <laughs> step. We seem to be getting this down. Now, let's make that same sound and let's rock backwards for the very first step. That's going to look like 
Rock step. Can you go? Rock step. One more time, it. Rock step. Once again, it. Rock step. Bonus last time. Rock step. You know, we're a third of the way done, and I would agree. This is going well. So after you do the rock step, you're going to do this triple step. That triple step would look like triple step. Ooh, look at it again. You're going to go to the front. If you look at this sideways, it's kind of like you have your horse, and your horse kind of goes, yeah. Yes, that's good horsing. So let's try that one more time going to the front. Hey, ho, here's the triple. Giddy up. Hey, ho, do it again. It's triple step. This helps. That's part of the extreme sure. horsing. Let's do it one last time. Can you go? Triple step. Oh, so good. Now wow. let's go rock, step, triple step. Yeah, that's going to be you. Can we try it as a team? Okay. Five, six, and here we go. Rock, step, triple step. Let's just agree that this is going really well. Super well. One more time. A five, a six, and here we go. Rock, step, and yeah. Okay, let's keep that. Now, if you remember earlier, we did another triple step. This triple step is going to start with the leader's right. All over his left. And that means you're going to go. Back it up. Oh, that's right. You're going to go. Back it up. One more time, you're going to go. Triple step. One last time, you're going to go. Back it up. Okay, so now let's risk it all. Uh, the rhythm of it is rock, step, triple step, triple step. Or you might think of it as rock, step, giddy up, back it up. That's the sound. That's the sound it makes. So if we try it together as a family, it goes five, six, seven, eight, rock. rock. Step, giddy up, back it up. Whoa there, again, a five, a six, and one more time. Rock, step, giddy up, and back it up. I get it, you're thinking, we're getting so good at this, why don't we harness this rhythm's power by doing it many times in a row? Okay, let's try it. Feeling good, looking good. Five, six, let's do the basic step. Go rock, step. Triple step, the triple step. Rock step to the front, back it up. Rock step, giddy up, back it up. Rock step, triple step, and triple step. Good, good. Now you might be thinking to yourself, wait a minute. When I normally walk, I don't do this. This one, this one, ah, this one. True. And it's because your feet will work even if you don't watch them directly. Feet are incredible that way. So with that in mind, let's try the same thing and go ahead and look up. Let's go five, six, five, six, seven, look up. Rock, step, triple step, triple step. Rock, step, giddy up, back it up. Rock, step, triple step, and triple step. Oh, nicely done, nicely done. So uh, this is gonna be done now with the music. That's what we like to dance to. Today, we're gonna to dance to the music of the Jonathan Doyle Swing Tet. Uh, Jonathan Doyle is a fabulous musician here in the Seattle area. Uh, we recommend you check out his music at jonathandoylemusic.com. Let's have a little Jonathan Doyle tune. Ooh, he did our, our little demo song too. He's good at that. <laughs> Is it one of these dances? Oh no, it's one of these dances. So, we relax the knees, yes. Five, six, five, six, here we go. Rock, step, giddy up, back it up. Rock, step, oop, giddy, oop, giddy. Rock, step, to the front, to the back. Rock, step, trip, 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 step, rock, step. Good, good, okay, nicely done. Yes. So this is a little bit like how our live stream classes work at Swing at Seattle. We walk you through the steps, we show the footwork, we hear how the footwork sounds. We oftentimes demonstrate it here from the back, so it's a little easier for maybe you to see what it is that we're doing. Uh, so now let's do this piece, which is Maybe we're going to dance with another person. If you have someone close by, maybe you can invite them for a dance. And if you don't, find your nearest Pomeranian or chair or mop 
Ah, something out there, I'm sure it'll work out fine. Uh, we have a few students who we've seen dancing with stuffed unicorns oh, yeah. and giant teddy bears. So this is the world we're living in. Totally fine. It's good to improvise. Yeah. So watch once now. Uh, if we face you while we do this, and you're leaning today, you can raise your right hand, and that right hand would go on your friend's back if they were next to you. And if you're following today, take your left hand, up and over onto your leader's shoulder, the shoulder closest to you, yes. Now this hand is just gonna hang out here and you're connected. Now, when you let the legs relax, oh, see, that already feels like dancing. Now, check it out. It's like a three-legged race that doesn't go anywhere. The outside legs go and then the inside legs go. So it looks like. Wrong step, triple step, triple step. Wrong step, to the front, to the back. Yes? Can we try that as a team? Sure. Well, let's do it. So we'll line up with you now. Go ahead and let the legs relax, ready to rock with your outside foot. That's leaders left. Followers right. Five, six, five, six. Here we go. Rock step, triple step, triple step. Rock step to the front, to the back. Rock step, giddy up, back it up. Nicely done. So as a good reminder, Again, your feet are excellent listeners. So if you want them to make this sound, try saying the thing while you're doing it. I know it seems like a very strange thing to do, but trust me, this will help you get the rhythm into your legs. Rock, step, triple step, the triple step. Cool. Can we try it maybe one more time? All right. Five, six, five, six. Let's swing it again. The rock, step. Triple step, triple step, rock step, triple step, triple step, rock step, triple step, and triple step. So good! See? You can dance. Okay, let's try it with the music now. With the music. And you let the legs relax. Let the hands relax. Yeah, a little bit, a little is when we're teaching our live stream classes at Swing in Seattle, we have partner classes. Uh, mostly of those, most of those are Lindy Hop. Uh, we also have some solo dancing classes where we teach uh, individual kinds of moves. Uh, but in our partner classes, we know not everyone might have a live partner next to them. So uh, we do make an effort to still demonstrate some of these steps without another person. Because uh, a lot of the elements within Lindy Hop you can actually take that movement and do on your own, yes? Okay, so now let's try the same thing one last time. We're gonna get side by side with our friend and then we're gonna discover something new. Five, six, five, six, and here we go. Rock step, triple step, triple step, rock step, triple step, triple step, rock step to the front and to the back, and that's it. Okay, it's excellent. Let's hold on to that. Now we're gonna make a very exciting shape. So if we get side by side like this, with the hand that's in the front, we might create the magic tunnel. Oh, look at that. Followers. Not so easily convinced. So that hand on the back says, the magic is for you. And then you turn through. What? Look at that one more time. So if we start side by side, Create the magic tunnel. Followers. You feel the push on the back. And you would go through the magic tunnel. If you're rolling solo right now, that might look something like this. I lift this left hand up, I push with my right hand, and then that connected hand drops down. For followers. For followers, if you're on your own, you lift this right hand up, you walk and turn over your left shoulder. It's just that easy. Let's make that shape one more time. You are sure. side by side or not. And that hand in the front comes up and then the followers turn through, and now we're apart. 
Good, good. So check this out now. We've got exciting news. We're going to make this same sound with our feet. Yes, that's making this a rhythmical dance. You keep making that same good rhythm. What's that rhythm? Rock, set, triple set, triple set. So check it out. We're going to make that sound two times. Mm -hmm. And when we do, it looks like this. Rock, step, triple set, triple set. Then, rock, step, triple set, triple set. And now we're apart. What? Look at that one more time. We're side by side going. Rock, step, to the front, to the back. Rock, step, Push. to the front, to the back. Whoa, whoa. OK, let's try it together as a family, slowly. Leaders heroically staying on the spot. Followers doing all of the moving. Yes. Five, six, five, six, and here we go. Let's go. Rock, step, giddy up, back, get up. Rock, step, Push. giddy up, back, get up, and now we're apart. Ah, oh, that's right. So you're turning on your triples. And yes, you're turning on your triples. Let's do it one last time. Five, six, and here we go. Go. It's rock step, triple step, triple step, rock step, triple step, triple step, and now we're apart. Whoa. Yes. Okay. So that's the basic part of the first shape. And I think we've got the right idea here. But let's walk through it again one more time. So if we take the rhythm away and we just make the good shape, you would start side by side. Oh, are you side by side? Oh, good. Then disconnect the hand, creates the magic tunnel. Followers? Feel the spin. Turn underneath. And then I'm going to do something subtle. Tell us if you can see it when it happens. Ah, oh, look at that. My hand is out here and I am showing the love. This connecting hand comes in between. Followers turning back underneath. And I catch you. Good. Look at that one more time. Through the magic tunnel. <laughs> Show the love. Turn it into the love. And look at that. Now we're next to each other. Wait a minute, Katie. I have a bold thought. Hmm. Why don't we just keep making this same sound? So this time we can make the sound three times, and it still sounds like rock, step, triple step, triple step, or rock, step, get it up, back it up. Both sure. are good. So watch it once. We're going to go rock, step, triple step, triple step, rock, step, triple step. Triple step, rock step, triple step, triple step, and now we're together. Wait a minute. Let's look at that one more time. It looks like rock step, triple step, triple step, then, rock step, triple step, triple step, then, rock step, triple step, triple step. Let's do it. I have a good feeling. Starting side by side. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Let's rock. rock. Step, triple step, and here's the turn. Rock step, triple step, triple step. Rock step, triple step, and triple step. And there it is. Yes. Ooh, let's do it one more time. Five, six, a five, a six, and here it is. Step, a triple step, and here's the turn. Rock step, turn and turn, turn and turn. Rock step, we come back together, and that's the winner. There you go. Very good. So before we take this with the music, you might be wondering who does swing dancing, right? Is it, uh, is it something that's for, for older people? Is it for, for younger people? Again, this dance, uh, it is for everyone. And one of the neat things about our Swing at Seattle community, uh, we have some people in their 60s, 70s, and 80s who are part of our dance classes. We have some teenagers who are part of our dance classes of the whole, from the whole range. Uh, so this is a dance for everybody. Sure. Let's try it now, since it is for everybody, with the music. So let's go ahead and just let the legs relax. Let your hands relax. We'll count you off so we can start together. Five, six, five, six, and here we go. important. Well, this song is longer than you can hold your breath for. That's science. 
Rock step, triple, triple, rock step, back together. Ooh. Oh, very nice, very nice. Okay. So now maybe we should explain this component of social dancing, right? So social dancing is different than choreography. Choreography is when you're dancing to music, but there's a very specific order to which the moves and the patterns and the rhythms happen. It's, it's already laid out and uh, you as a dancer are following that specific pattern. Social dance is when you and your partner are making this thing up a bit as you go along, right? So uh, for our purposes right now, as a leader, I'm going to indicate to Katie when I am inviting her to go through the turn, right? And when Katie feels that indication, she responds accordingly, then follows through and does the turn. It's a little bit like uh, leaders are figuring uh, are throwing a ball and followers are figuring out like where to run and go and catch it, right? So uh, it's a little bit more of a, a team effort than initially. Mm -hmm. But with that in mind, leaders on your end, uh, you'll have to decide when the magic tunnel is going to happen. And followers. On our end, followers, um, our job is to kind of wait and see what's going to happen next and try not to guess. Yes. So with that in mind, when we do this with the music again, when we're here, it's all an exciting waiting game. Oh, when is it going to be? Oh, there it is. And then we find our way back. We don't have to work super hard to indicate to our partner, or what I like to call invite our partner to do a move. I invite you to go this way, and I invite you to come back. Yes. And there it is. Right, because in swing dance, uh, you are responsible for moving your own legs, and maybe that's a nice <laughs> thing to keep in mind. Uh, sometimes people feel like, oh, well, the the leader has to just do everything, and the followers just follow or something. But that that's not really how this dance works. So uh, one of the things people really like about Lindy Hop is that it is more of a team effort uh, when you're dancing with another person. Kind of combines those best elements of partner dancing, uh, along with then kind of being able to do your own thing. Cool. Let's take it with the music, maybe one last time. You're all doing a fine job of it. Oh, yeah. Sounds good, Jonathan Doyle. Go down to the way. accessible to everyone. Uh, it doesn't require any special equipment uh, beyond maybe you just have to be able to clear a little space out uh, in your house. That might mean moving a chair or a table around a little bit. Uh, but that's all you really need. You don't need special shoes or anything like that. Uh, really, it's just a matter of having a little bit of floor space, picking up your feet, and having a good time. Uh, if you are looking for music to dance to, uh, on the Swing at Seattle website, swingatseattle.com, uh, we have an entire set of curated playlists selected by myself. 
uh, that you can play. Because uh, there's a lot of music out there, and sometimes finding great music to do the Lindy Hop to can be a little bit of a challenge, uh, but we have that available on our site. All right, so check this out. We're going to do the same thing one last time. We're going to go, and then you're going to go. So let's say rock, step, triple step, triple step. Okay, good. Nice. Now let's say a little faster. Five, six, five, six, seven, go. Rock, step, triple step, triple step. Step, triple step. Good, good. So now let's try doing this exact same thing, but we pick up the feet just a bit. Yes? Three, five, six, five, six, seven, go. Rock, step. Triple set, triple set, triple set, rock set, triple 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 set, so good. I was just talking a little bit about swing music. So one of the things that's neat about swing music is there are slower songs, there are faster songs, but it's all a bit of the same thing. It's, some of them feel a bit more like walking, others like jogging, and others a little bit more like sprinting. But again, it's all a little bit of the same structure. Very good. So a couple things before we send you off, which is we have a very compelling Instagram account. You can follow us at there. Uh, Swing at Seattle. Uh, and do check out our website for upcoming information about all of our live stream classes. Uh, at present, these classes are free for you to access. Um, we are accepting supporting contributions for them, of course, uh, but we really want to make sure that dance is available and accessible to everyone. If there was ever a time that we needed dance in our lives, uh, now is most certainly it. Uh, we know it's Challenging times for a lot of us uh, all around. This is our ballroom now, <laughs> uh, for instance. Uh, but uh, we're really, really happy to be able to bring swing dance to the community. Again, it is something I think that uh, is good and joyful uh, and was born out of a challenging time. Right? Lindy Hop this dance, it came out of a time where people were, were struggling and things were difficult, but they they did this dance, they found joy, connection, and community through it. Uh, we hope to be able to do the same. Uh, so please check us out at swingitseattle.com. Uh, before we finish, I just want to say a big thank you to Creative Live uh, for allowing us to uh, jump on Creative Live TV today. This has been a really wonderful experience for us, hopefully for you as well. Thank you again, and we will see you on the dance floor. <laughs>